So I bought the 4090 and I do hope it will be useful with simulators like DCS and flight simulator but of course I'm going to try it first with Star Citizen. So let's just cut it a trace and see how it performs. Okay so my plan here is to basically <laughs> embark on, on an epic voyage from Laurel to New Babbage and then as a grand finale to Horizon and I hope I got it right so I don't get the wrath of Astropap on me for pronouncing that wrong. And when I get to the horizon, I'm also going to try some something like a bit more modest resolution, like basic 1440p resolution here. But at the moment, I'm actually running this setup with the Ryzen, Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, I uh, have 32 gigabytes of RAM and naturally the new GeForce 4090. 4090 here and the resolution is 7, 76, 780, 60 times 1440 so that's I think I calculated that's something like over 10% more frames than in standard 4k resolution but so let's see then we're approaching the we're approaching the first first place is that always basically distorts my frame rate here and what I actually tried before with my old Radeon 68800 XT, I came here with the uh, ultra quality ultra quality clouds and got something like 15 frames per second. So as you can see now, it's running somewhere 40, almost 50 frames per second with the <laughs> with ultra quality clouds. So. That's pretty much amazing. So at the moment, I guess that's what you need to get the ma really great, great graphics with stars. This and just over two two thousand euro graphics card. But I hope this will get better with the creating batch with the new renders and stuff like that. And I think I should actually do a natural comparison when that comes out. But hey, so this is the first step. Pretty amazing frames compared to what I got previously. This is even. Double, double the ones that I got with the, my with my old Radeon card, even with the medium clouds. And now it's the best. Basically, all the graphical settings are as good as possible. And if you actually haven't watched this before, when I'm using showing all the center screen here, it's just a capture card to the external display, but it's still rendering all these three displays for me so that's basically just showing you stuff here and then you can check the frame rates on the top right corner but hey next let's go to the spaceport and get our ship so i have a vanguard hoplite here that as i have a loaner i decided to i'm going to try this one out simply because it's something that has crossfield quantum drive installed so i thought that would be make the quantum quantum jumps faster. Naturally, it's not something you'll need to see. I'm just going to cut to the next step when I'm done with this here. But let's get out and see if we still getting nice frame rates. Some stuttering here. I think it's loading the texture or something like that. I did deleted the shaders folder, but even, even with the ultra, ultra high Cloud quality, I'm still getting 40 frames per second. So basically, that's just pretty amazing compared to anything that I've had before, which is really nice. But next up, New Babbage. Just realized that I forgot the drink in game, and I think I need to land to the port dresser and grab some water but this is actually a good place to show you some space frame rates well this isn't this isn't really easy to space since we already have the clouds here but we're still running running here okay over 100 frames per second and the interesting thing is here that my cpu utilization is hovering hovering somewhere around 50 percent a bit higher so it's still gpu pound okay this time i'm not going to land here just planning to fly through the fly through the area and see what sort of frame rates i'll be getting here it's looking pretty good it's nice that we got actually day daytime here 
and a bit stuttering but I think after everything is loaded it's still hovering around 40, 40 frames per second just going to fly a bit around here and see how it, everything looks so I guess it's still quite sure way to destroy your frame rate even with with this setup so I guess it still holds true that even as I could couldn't run this with the best settings at decent frame rates but yeah as far as I understand that's going to change with the optimization with the trend to 12 render and stuff like that so it's really interesting to see how that affects in 318 but it's looking quite good here and still getting the nice 40 frames per second 40 frames per second and even better apparently occasionally and once I'm done here the next step will be the last and the best frame rate killer horizon this time it, it looks that we're getting the nighttime horizon here and that's just fine because here I'm just going to go on full tourist tourist trip to the center of horizon and just see how it affects my frame rate as I'm approaching approaching horizon still 45 frames per second again with the maximum settings so nothing to complain here So I'm going for cloud beam center and at the moment we're hovering around 50 frames per second inside or horizon or horizon I already forgot sorry okay so now frames are really dropping as we are approaching here I guess it's loading stuff since CPU utilization is already hitting almost hit 100 hundred percent but let's see what what everything looks like here at the most amazing place that's available so I guess we still need to need to accept that even with the 49 we're not getting any decent frame rates frame rates in these places just simply not possible let's change some settings and see what happens okay so I changed the volumetric clouds, clouds from very high to high and it already jumped almost almost 40 frames per second so the clouds are really frame rate killer at the moment most likely won't be in the future so this is already playable this is actually quite nice and I guess this is something I might keep as a setting as high, at high at least for now and then the final trains I trains from 20 from my white screen to 25, 60 to 14, 40, so this is kind of your standard 14, 1440 p resolution and quite surprisingly it actually didn't change the frames per second that much I got some 10 extra frames frames but naturally everything looks much nicer without the stretching and stuff like that everything is running smoothly an interesting point here is after the change actually the CPU utilization jumped quite high and GPU utilization is lower okay back at 7680 resolution and everything is looking, looking much better and also GPU utilization rose quite a lot but this is looking really smooth I guess I have to say that was quite interesting experiment so what it looks like is that the clouds are again last I think we all already know 
real frame rate clears before they, they can optimize, CIG can optimize them. But it, it was interesting to see, so compared to my previous previous GPU, the kind of re reference Radeon RX 6800 6, XT, everything, I, I can't say even doubled, uh, I, I think the frame rate is at least tripled in really difficult places, like the normal normal place if I'm waking up from horrible, horrible haps. And this was actually quite playable experience, even with the very high, very high cloud, cloud settings. And this, basically, the horizon was something that mandated the drop to the high cloud quality. But if you're interested in the simple stuff for the future, want to see me build stuff, play games like Dirt with it, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you, thanks for watching. See you next time.